What's up? I was a figure skater in the 96 uh, Winter Olympics in Atlanta. Uh, my uncle laid the pipe in the brain. Are we really brothers? Brother in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brother in cursive. Are we, are we really brothers? Brother in cursive. Are, are, are we really brothers? Brother in cursive. Are we really Damn, brothers? can we start all with each other? Yeah. Brothers what? in cursive. <laughs> Hey, this is Red Band Brothers coming live from Death Squad Studios for a cursive. brand new episode of in Brothers in cursive. cursive. Here's David Lucas and William Montgomery. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what about the gun stores we passed to get here? I love it. Stock up on that fucking ammo. What do you think is going to happen? What are they thinking? That there's going to be a, probably a, a lockdown like San Francisco and people are going to start looting when they can't go to the grocery store. Do you think that's going to happen? We'll see. I don't think so. I'm I'm not living in fear. If it does happen, I got my guns ready. Do you really? Can I borrow one? I don't have one. Hell no. I'll give you a sword. A sword? Sword. 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 You'd give me a sword. Yeah. You'd give me a sword. <laughs> yeah. A sword? A sword. Sword. Yeah. How long is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It sounded kind of like the Predator. No, it sounded like uh, Isaac Hayes. Who was the man? Isaac nah. Hayes. Hey, if 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 it if it comes to that, I make sure you're straight. You what? Yeah, I could come live with you. I make sure you're a red band straight. No, I got somewhere where we go. I already got my whole shit mapped out. If it goes, are you serious? Yeah. What do you mean, bro? I watch Walking Dead. Hypothetically, I've been. In a hypothetic situation, I've been preparing for a zombie apocalypse for a long time. There's this place in uh, North Hollywood that's a food bank that has barbed wire fence around it that I used to volunteer at. And it has high shelves. Okay. So you have to have a ladder to get up there. The shelves are sturdy. They hold like thousands of pounds of food. You can rest up there. It has one of those big, heavy garage doors that shut down. There's restrooms. There's lots of food. How would we get in there in the first place? I got ways. We can get in there. So you take us there? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we could go in there. And next to the food bank is a uh, welding shop. What do we do with that? Bro, what do you mean? Reinforce cars. Now we got fucking weapons on the road. Ooh. Put some metal in cars. God, just start running over people. Yep. And then about two miles from that is a gun shop. So we'll loot that. Yep. Cross. I- I'd rather do, um, if it gets so bad, would. I'd rather do crossbows so we can have reusable ammo. Guns are like a, a fucking, like, oh, shit, I had to use my gun. But if you can. Just what do you mean it. reusable? Just hit killing somebody and then getting the arrows? There you go. Who would get the arrows? You. <laughs> I'd have to get the arrows? You, yeah. Yeah, I see you on a mission to go get the arrows. <laughs> just with my sword? With your sword. And I give God, you some, just cutting people's arms off. I give you some pepper spray that, that dyes their face when you pepper spray them. Bear spray. <laughs> bear spray. I actually have some bear spray. Well, you're good. But it's a one-time thing, I think. Oh, yeah. But I use it on a group of them. Why do you I have know. it? Uh, from when I worked at the gas station in Wyoming, I would go camping and I bought bear spray because I was scared of a bear eating me. <laughs> that should be the last thing. William went out and found uh, green beer for St. Patty's Day. I know. It's St. Patrick's Day. Can I pinch you since you don't? Oh, you do have green on. Red Band needs to get pinched. Where's Some, your green? Somebody send Red Band a, a virtual Get pinch. Get out of here. I like green underwear. William, do, do, you, you really? do you remember being drunk yesterday on Kill Tony? No audience? What are you talking about? You were drunk as shit. No, I wasn't. Drunker than Cooter Brown. Who's that? Uh, I think it's a character from... I always hear black people say it. I think it's a character from... Uh, is that Andy Griffith? I don't know. I love Andy Griffith. Mm. Yeah, my dad texted me. Bro, your dad, you do you remember reading his text? Yeah. <laughs> your dad funny? was like, "Shut your mouth and put your hand." Down. <laughs> <laughs> what did he text you after? Well, to read us what he texts you after. I know he sent you some other shit, huh? Yeah. And then show us the text from your ex. Yeah. Erica was like, I "What do you mean a tet? What are you talking about?" I bet she was like, "I wish I was quarantined with you right now." Oh, she picked him up last night, so I can give you this pissy pussy. Oh, she picked you. What up? are you talking? I went back with uh, Ryan J. E. Belt. Oh, you did, huh? 
Yeah. Damn, Red Band calling you out, dog. Yeah, I went back with Ryan J. E. Belt. What else did your dad say? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think it's anything good. Let's see. Let's hear it. Do you remember arm wrestling me? You said you woke up and your arm yeah, was hurting. Yeah, I woke up and my arm was hurting. And you forgot you arm wrestled like five little, people. We did little. find out who the weakest bitch was, Joel Berg. <laughs> yeah, I thought Joel Berg was strong. I know. Damn, I thought he was strong, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I thought Joel Berg was strong. training, I know. I would have guessed that. Damn. I bet Chrome and Chris are strong. Like, yeah. Like, I'm secretly strong. Secret like, strong. Fucking snap your neck. <laughs> yeah, I remember almost beating you on one of them. Are you serious? Yeah, I almost beat you on the second William. one. You were cheating too. Right. When you when you when I did it to you, you were like your knee, your uh, it was off the table. You were like trying to do that. And off then the table you were shit. going on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you beat him like twelve times. <laughs> you were going on one. <laughs> oh, you will no. never. Hey guys, since uh, we're talking about arm wrestling, me and William. Uh, so that you guys know, our episode of Brothers in Cursive, June 17th, will not be an episode. It will be me and William's fitness challenge. Y'all what does send- that entail? So I'm thinking uh, or- another. you'll get another shot at arm wrestling in three okay. months. <clears throat> Are gonna- you sick? No, I vape too much. William, do Are not, you sick? Do not talk about compromised immune system. Come on, it seems like you're <laughs> sick. <laughs> you over there drinking fucking Chicago River water. <laughs> I like that you made that yourself also. <laughs> like you got green dye so you can celebrate by yourself. The only one that's celebrating green he beer. Made the shit and you're There's drinking a green reason beer for out the of season. Straw. There's a I reason was, for the season. I thought he was drinking surge. But yeah, so June 17th, guys, we won't have an episode. It'll be me and William's fitness challenge. So I'm thinking uh, we'll find uh, a gym that'll let us like lift some weights. Like we do like 135, see who can lift 135 the most, uh, squat 225 the most. Since both You think of- I have a chance? We'll see. We're, you you got three months, bro. We're both. Everything's shut down. I can't go to the yeah, that's true. LA Fitness anymore. Body squats and push ups. It's shut down for me, too, dog. Don't be chickening out. Well, what am I going to do? Push ups? Push ups, body squats. Jumping jacks. Jumping, 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 jumping jacks. jacks. Side straddle hops. Side straddle hops. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, June 17th. Burpees. So I'm thinking of one on one basketball. Uh, we'll lift 135, see who can do it the most. Okay. We'll do uh, squats, power clean. Um, what uh, whatever else the guys send in, we'll do like seven events. It'll okay. be like a like a mile run. Nah, nigga, I ain't doing no fucking mile run. Come on, that's maybe the one where I could beat you. And You're then, saying all this shit. Where and you then could play beat me. basketball. So what do you want to put in there? Uh, uh, swimming. Yeah, I'll fuck with it. Okay. Yeah, I can swim very well. Can you really? Yeah. What's your favorite stroke? Breast. Breast. Yeah. You're pretty good at breaststroke? And backstroke. What about butterfly? I'm all right. Doggy paddle. Is that your favorite stroke? Mine is freestyle. Wow, you guys have different strokes. (laughs) For different folks. (laughs) (laughs) You are sick sounding. I know. Look at that. It's this vape. Uh. Both of you idiots, it's this vape. And for the idiots that are on YouTube, Red Band, can you help me pull up something? Last week I mentioned the word helmet. Helmet is not a word. Helmet with the N is an incorrect spelling of helmet, usually by Southerners or rednecks. So I, I almost can't believe some idiot thought it, it, you put an N in there. That's almost unbelievable. Right. I don't. It's almost unbelievable. <laughs> I almost don't believe that. Hey, William, did you wake up with a pot of gold by your bed this morning? You yes. fucking leprechaun. Yes. Are you mad that your day is not being celebrated? Yes. You probably, you probably just put your finger in there and swirl it around and it turned green. <laughs> <laughs> William William and Red Band. No, it took me like an hour to make. Why? What did you do, a gallon? Like, why did it take so long? No, I just poured a couple of Budweiser's in there and then I was having to get the right... Uh... <laughs> he had to use yellow and blue color. <laughs> <laughs> he kept... He, 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 he kept drinking it before he could get it colored. <laughs> he was yeah, when he walked in, I was like, wow, he's drinking like a nice, healthy green juice. <laughs> celery juice some or chlorophyll. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> but your ass don't make some fucking green beer. Come on, it's the end of the world. About to, it's upon us. Maybe it's the end of your world. Red Band and, and, 
Red Band and Williams said I shouldn't go to New York because I'm going to get stuck there. Yeah. It seems like the worst idea ever. It does. <laughs> it seems like a horrible idea. I mean, they're idea. closing hotels. Like, all of Vegas is closed now. Like, so if you were st- thinking of staying at a hotel, too bad. You can't stay there. So, like, you might be stuck in New York. They're not going to have any hotels. They're not going to have any flights back. You're going to be on a restriction like San Francisco. Where you're not even allowed to leave a place. I'm staying at the Le- Legion of Skanks house. When are you going tomorrow? Yeah. Legion of Skanks house. Yeah. And you're going tomorrow? What time's your flight? 10 15. You better, by the way, the airports are out of control right now. You better go there like four hours early. Are they really? Yeah. I didn't know if they were like yeah. barren. They're, no, they're because they don't have many workers and shit, and they have to take all these extra precautions and stuff. So they're, they're hand checking people with two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do they do when they check somebody with one finger? Stick it up your ass. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You didn't know about the booty check? No. Ask Tony about it. He knows. What's the booty check? He you knows. Stick a finger ask, in there? ask Tony about it Monday. Okay. They always had to do cavity searches on him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. So how long are you going to be there? Uh, Probably until April. <laughs> That's such a bad idea. I don't Where know why you, you would want to be stuck of all places in New York. It's the same as L.A. No, it's not. It's New too York many is, people. There's like New York might blow the fuck up because there's nowhere to get away from people. He said it might blow up. No, I mean just like blow up with the uh, the corona. Oh yeah, I probably had it. I was I had uh, when I first started working at the comedy store in October. They were like people had it back in October November. That's the first I've heard of that. What are you talking about? No, there was there was a thing today that said people who were sick like from September all the way until now, if y'all were sick like September, October, November, December, y'all probably had the corona and didn't even know it. I have not been sick in a very long time, but that's my, the first I've heard of that. But my first day at the comedy store, my first day at the comedy store, I was working back door, my first official shift. And, you know, working the back door, you see maybe 1,500 people, maybe 1,000 people because all those shows let out. Do you? Yeah, you see a lot of people every night, and I'm shaking hands with people that have seen me on Kill Tony and vaping, picking up my vape and touching my phone. And the next day, bro, I had some shit that hit me instantly. How long were you sick? I was sick like three days, but the reason I was sick so long is because I was still going to work. Because I was new, so I didn't want to hit him with the, hey, yeah. I need to take off. Yeah, but it yeah. was like, had me coughing and feverish. Well, maybe you already had it, but I've heard you can get it twice. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was towards me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm worried about getting it. I don't know what how, how it's going to work if I get it. Yeah, you're you're pretty fucked. I'm worried about it. Well, you drank no water. I do feel. I good. drank water today. Oh, good. Well, when you took a shower. Yeah. Do you br- I, do you brush your teeth with alcohol? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. Instead of water, you use alcohol to brush your teeth. Listerine has alcohol in it. So you, that's what you brush your teeth with. Have you ever drank Listerine? No, I'm not that desperate to get drunk. Have you read Ben? No, you could die from that. Was it bad for your tummy? You're not even allowed to swallow toothpaste. Did you know that? Why? What? Because it's poison. What? Yeah. I've oh, been swallowing what? toothpaste for five years now. Bad idea. The fluoride? Oh, is that why your eyes have that fucking look in it? Like you got cirrhosis of the liver? You're sick. <laughs> You're sick. My parents watch this. My eyes look fine. <laughs> Swallow, uh, let's see. Uh, swallowing toothpaste. May, uh, may cause uh, stomach pain and possible intestinal blockage. That's what William got. That fucking stomach that's hard as shit in that red dot. Oh, sounds, yeah. How's that red dot? Sounds sounds like, it sounds like intestinal blockage to me. Oh, you got it's three It's kind of better. You got three of them, bro. You wow, got... yeah. It has a, had a baby. <laughs> What's that one that's right next to it? You like you, you're going to have Orion's belt any day now. Right. The North Star. <laughs> it's better now. Slaves looked at William's stomach to get the freedom. <laughs> <laughs> hey slaves get over here <laughs> well i think i feel like it's getting better it feels better what did it feel like before god it stung like a motherfucker it was horrible 
Yeah, that's. I wonder how you look clean shaven. I've had this beard now for over a year. Really, bro? I don't know how long it would take. This is like what six months, five, six you months. You trim right it, here? yeah. But I'm trying to like it won't get thick. You know how some people get like. It really... looks like it would. I'm sure if you quit trimming it, it would. I don't trim it. Like I just get like the line up and the little shape up to keep it nice and shapely. But I want to get a full beard before it becomes summer. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. How come? I don't want to. I don't want that when it's 113 outside. How come? I don't know, bro. It's a hell of a look, David. If Corona keep us locked down to the end of May, do you know how turned up summer's gonna be? We gonna be making up for like three months, bro. This gonna be. I think we're gonna be quarantined into the summer. You're I think al- this is the end of times. You're already quarantined to that fucking storage unit. I think this <laughs> is the end of times. Are you there by yourself? No, I worked with people on Monday. How is it? Give me a, a, a run of your day. It's fine. I mean, I I make uh, make and receive phone calls. I show people units. I deal with a lot of Armenian people. It's in like Glendale, right outside of Glendale, just filled with Armenian people. They generally, I don't trust them. I've known some nice Armenian <laughs> people, but I generally, as a rule, don't trust Armenian people. Do you trust black people? Who do you trust? Less? I had before. Who do you trust less, black people or Armenians? Armenians. Really? Totally. Totally. I can see that. I no, but I've met some nice ones. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to call out sick. I don't think any of them watch this. I'm thinking about calling out sick on Thursday, though. Do they know you do comedy? Yeah, I've told them. What do they think? I don't know. Yeah? I don't know if they really watch any. How old is your boss? Uh, My district manager... Is I don't know, late thirties maybe. <laughs> that cough I is. I got a bad feeling about it's this. It's not one. a dry cough, you idiot. It's what is I'm it? Vaping if it's a, this. Yeah, but you've never done this cough before. Yeah, in the you've never coughed in here like that. You've coughed five times now. If I stop vaping, I'll stop coughing, dummies. All right. Is that the truth? Let's yeah. test it out. Let's test it. All right. See, I'm not coughing. <laughs> All right, let's wait 10 minutes and see what happens. Dude, I can't go that long without hitting my vape. I have fucking anxiety. Here, let me hit it. No. No, don't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on. Well, we kissed last night, so I didn't, probably got Bro, it. get the fuck out of here. Come on, would you forget about that? William, I will beat your ass Dude, on Dude, we podcast. kissed in the bathroom Do last not night. not talk about that gay shit. We cast in the bathroom. Don't Come put on. no gay Whoa. shit on no podcast. <laughs> what Come happened? On. How did it happen? Did he put his knee on your back? He put his Red hand Red, on my bottom. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Drew me close and we started kissing with our tongues. And well, you're a piece of Come shit. Come on, dude. I'm beat your ass. Come on, dude. <laughs> it needs to come out. It need, every People need to know now. I don't even like... Never mind. You don't even like what? I can't say it on air. Then that shit will be used in 10 years. You don't even like what? Nothing. I can't say it. I'll say it. All okay, fair, fair enough. <laughs> William. Freckle dicks. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? William, if you had to suck a dick, would you want to suck a big dick or a little dick? Mm, interesting question. Mm. Um, mm. Probably a big one, I guess. So you can gag on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? Small, bro. Get that shit over with. Yeah, why would you want a big one? That what? makes no sense. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, <laughs> big, surprising. What That's do you surprising. want? A big, black, veiny cock in your mouth? God, what about that thing you sent me earlier? It's like <laughs> Donald Trump has coronavirus. Have you seen that? The fake Donald Trump videos and it shows you that big, black guy? Yeah, so that has been passed around so many dick. times. That I used to send that. The original picture to people like maybe three years ago. I guess yeah, that guy. Seriously? I think that guy died. If I remember, I feel y'all kill everybody. Y'all on this podcast, y'all kill everybody. <laughs> what are you <laughs> talking about? Well, yeah, what's his face? Last week isn't dead. Uh, the, the guy that was in uh, Clue, Tim Ra, uh, whatever. It yes, is. he is. No, he's not. Will uh, you, what you killed that six dude's people dead last week alone. That guy's dead. No, he's not. Yes, he is. You're, you're talk, we were talking about... 
Uh, the guy who's in the it. Yeah. See, look, I stopped vaping and I haven't coughed. I'm going back to vaping. Yep. Okay. It's, well. it's only been two minutes. It's been yeah. like four or five. That guy's totally dead. What is his name again? Tim. Uh, Tim. Uh, here, we'll find out right now. Tim Curry. The dude's dead. I thought he was dead too. He's not. <laughs> Yo, and that guy that I, I said. Huh? That guy that I said was <laughs> chef in South Park. There, you just coughed already. Because I'm vaping again. Cough, yeah. like, cough towards yeah, it's the not ba- it's not Barry White. Y'all idiots said Barry White. I don't I didn't watch South. Tim Park. Curry's it's still Isaac, alive. Yes, Isaac Hayes is dead. Yeah, yes, Isaac but Hayes. not. But Barry. y'all said it was Barry White as the voice of the chef. Yeah, it's Isaac Hayes is the voice. Well, Barry White got killed by his dad, right? Isn't that what we were saying? That was Marvin Gaye. Barry White. Oh, 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 oh. he died from diabetes. Barry White. I think he died from like some type of health problems. Mm. Well, it's good to know Tim Curry is still with us. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, buddy. That's yeah. good. Whoa. I love it. He died at Cedars. When and how? A severe stroke. So fear. Oh, man, he was only 58? Oh, he's waiting for a kidney transplant. Damn, that sucks. He was only 58. Young. Gosh. Gone too soon. Just like us after being coughed on by David Lucas. <laughs> I pray to God. Are you going to wear a mask tomorrow at the airport? Nah. What are you going to wear? Probably some Nike sweatpants, some Yeezys, <laughs> and my camouflage sweatshirt. Sounds good. Yeah. Are you going to wear a cap? Nah, bro. I just got a haircut. Did you? Show my shit off. Got the size cut lined up. Boom. Looks good. I want... I, when I go to New York, I want them to know, like, hey, this boy got a fresh cut. Where he get cut at? They're going to be looking all sad. Like, they can't go nowhere. I come in with a fresh haircut. Let's see your fade, William. The reverse mohawk. There we go. <laughs> the, yeah, him going to New York. Can you imagine that? <laughs> like, Man, look at his fade. <laughs> that motherfucker head got coronavirus. <laughs> COVID. COVID-19 head ass. My hair looks pretty good right now. That nigga William's hair is quarantined. <laughs> Come on, stop. Your daddy got more hair than you, bro. Mm, do you believe that? I, he has less hair than me. I, he must have had a hell of a comb over. I'm losing my hair. If you stop drinking beer, I'm telling you, bro. I'm, it's something I'll about, stop losing my hair? I don't know. Maybe, bro. Put some healthy enzymes in your body. Yeah, you got too much yeast. You're yeasty. I am pretty yeasty right now. <laughs> yeasty. Yeasty boys. Yeasty boys. <laughs> Tea tree. <laughs> yeasty boys. The yeasty boys. Are we, do we have any people responding to the chat? Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody says your hair is dry. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I guess. I don't know. Uh, Should it be oily? Hey, listeners, are y'all scared of the COVID virus? <clears throat> I think everybody should be. I think this is could be the end of times. There's locust plagues. Did you in see the that Middle locust East. plague shit? That's crazy. Yeah, we're at the end of times. All we need now is an earthquake. <laughs> That'd be bad if there were an earthquake right now. Hey, Red, man, I'm about to drop you this video. Check this out. You, you see this, uh, David? This uh, Yeah, in Africa. It happened. Hundreds yeah. of billions? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> And they're like trying to get, I guess they're going to have to release all these ducks to try to kill. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Could you imagine just going over yeah. there and just ducks and. Uh, I just sent you something, yeah. bro. I want you to play this. This Look what I witnessed today in Studio City. What? Oh, Red Band's about to play. Wait, and why do ducks eat locusts? They just like, they like them, I guess. I guess it's, yeah. Look at this, bro. All right, so let me uh, make this big. All right. <coughs> Nobody fucking with the Chinese food today. Nobody. With the Chinese Nobody. Food. Uh, that's fucked up. Come get some food from the rice wok. Did you eat that? Wah! I was going to the water place next door. Who's that woman in there? She works. Janice. There. <laughs> <laughs> Su Young. I, I. I mean, that's an A Chinese restaurant, so I'm sure it's fine, but. I might get me some Chinese tonight. Yeah, go support them because those might be. I am. I I'm definitely. I've been. And I like how like Postmates and Uber and all them. They've uh, taken away all their delivery fees, you know, so that you can like help the local restaurants. So amazing. Yeah. 
uh, I might get some uh, corned beef and cabbage tonight. That's some. Oh yeah, for St. Patty's. For St. Patty's Day. Day. Yeah. Have you ever had any crazy St. Patrick's days in the past? I remember. It was probably like twenty. Yeah, I was in college, so like twenty twelve. Uh, <laughs> my friend stole some liquor. You know, when you're younger, you drink anything. Yeah. My friend stole some. I think UV vodka. Yeah, yeah. This is this was before like I was into like liquors and knowing like different. Look at Red Band. Look a young, at a young Red Band. I'll talk about that in a second. Who is that? Jesse Spano from Say by the Bell. That's my ex. She's nice looking, nice teeth. <laughs> we'll go back to that story. <laughs> How was the pussy? We'll go back to it. Okay. So yeah, my friend, my friend, uh, shout out to Nate Pilot. He stole some uh, some UV vodka from Ralph's. Was it a flavored version? Or no, just he just stole the regular. Vodka? And we had green dye because we were, we we ran out of liquor. I had a we, we were roommates and I had a party, and we ran out of liquor. So he he walked up to Ralph's. This is when I was living in K Town and stole some UV vodka. Yeah, this is before I was into like high end liquors and shit. And so uh, I didn't really pay any attention. You know, it's like more liquor. Party keeps going. We fucking dyed that shit green, bro, and started taking shots of that disgusting ass liquor. Uh, All of us were throwing up and A lot of green. Was it green? A lot of green? Yeah. It was horrible, man. It was a nightmare. I remember my uh, middle brother Vance ate a green snow cone one time, and he doo-dooed, and his doo-doo was green. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. I, <laughs> Me and... My ex at the time, we went and got green beer at this place, and they definitely put way too much yeah. green <laughs> beer in. Because if you look at the like, picture, like this was after we like just drinking a couple of them, and I shit green God. like it, I could not. It was all over our hands. It, it looked was, like yeah, look at that. It, it looks crazy. Like, it looked like the Hulk nutted on y'all. Yeah, y'all look sucked at the that. Hulk's dick. Yeah. She's cute, bro. What happened here? Tell us this story, Ray. She got nice teeth. They're white. Yeah. She looks like she has health care. Yeah, but she's a nurse. Yeah, what happened with her? She I had... fucked up. Is she still with us? Yeah, I dated her for, uh, yeah, she uh, met her in Texas and had a long distance relationship for a while. And then she moved to L.A. and then she lived with me for a while. And then after like five years or something like that. Our five relationship... years? Yeah, our relationship was just kind of getting... We fought a lot. She was like one of those, like when we drank, she fought a lot type shit. And then uh, I was trying to end it for a while. And then I just started dating this porn star and fucked the whole thing up. Are you serious? Yeah. That's the best way to get. A lot of women, I've noticed, bro, women do not know how to be broken up with. Yeah. You know how hard it is? Yeah, I tried forever. But uh, to be fair, she had nowhere to go. I moved her out. She was living with me. You know, like I couldn't just throw her on the street, but I was like, you know, we got to do this. But I mean, after like six months of trying to get her to move out of my house and it just Where'd never Where'd she end up going? Well, when I started dating the porn star, she found out and then she immediately moved out and lived with her. Friend. I feel like that's the only oh way to truly Sometimes, get a woman over yeah. you Sometimes, yeah. is by cheating. Yeah. And it wasn't that even cheating. That sounds horrible. Really? Will That you? sounds awful. Okay. So who was holding who back with you and old girl? I won't even mention her name. Which side was not letting go? I don't know. I kind of don't want to talk about it. Yeah, because you're still with her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Will still get that pussy on the low. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I don't want to talk about still it. Still fucking them pea-soaked panties. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe William said something to Janice last night about it. What's going on here? What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, yeah, we caught you. <sighs> you still see Red Band, why would you say that? Why would you uh go back to, and lie to us? We're in the midst of a pandemic and this is going to the muck raking begins. So that's how you want to be quarantined with toxicity. Come on. You're just waiting for something bad to happen? You're waiting for police right. to get involved? Yeah, she, that bitch is going to kill you, bro. That's what's next. Well, I mean, I guess we could start auditioning for a William replacement. Yeah. Once he gets murdered. <laughs> there was a, is, is, isn't is there a guy on uh, Nev's, Dev's, that looks like William? There's like a, a nice looking redhead. What's clean Dev's? Up? The the main character is what's his face from uh, Parks and Rec. 
There's a redhead in Devs, a redheaded dude. I don't remember a redhead. I think he's, isn't he the teacher? What's Devs? Are you talking about the guy from Parks and Recs? This guy right here? Yeah. Yeah. That could be our William. You know that's the guy from Parks and Recs? Look at William. <laughs> that could be our William. Yeah. His beard is filled in. He has, What's Devs? He has all his hair. He, he has a halo over him. He has the eyes that looks like he's dying of liver disease. Just like William. Come on, my eyes are all right. Look at that. That's some. More What's out. Devs? I don't even know what Devs. It's a is. show on Hulu. That's on. It's FX. really pretty good. It's kind of like Lost. I so never watched. Might Lost. be about the simulation about theory. Who knows? What's the simulation theory? They're you in a the simulation. Watch. You got to get through the first episode. Once you get through the first episode, it's better. Yeah. There's this a, show. There's a big ass baby that threw me off in the first episode. That's why I watched it just because I saw the preview <laughs> with that big ass baby. I was like, "What the fuck is this big ass baby?" Uh, did you watch Westworld? Westworld season three started. Uh, no, last but time. you know, no. The, uh, with shit being shut down, I did catch back up on Walking Dead. How's that? Is that good? <clears throat> is that still going? Yes, I'm a big fan of Walking Dead. After uh, Glenn got killed by Negan, I kind of fell off, and then when Rick got killed, I all the way fell off. Rick Grimes because he was my favorite character. And then I was like, let me start back watching. And I watched it, and these writers are actually pretty good. Uh, I love me some Michonne. My friend uh, is in, Walk- in Walking Dead. I don't know if he's dead, though, now. Is that him? Yeah, the mullet guy. You know him for real? Yeah. He's like, Eugene, he's still living. Yeah, he's, his name's Eugene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a comic, though. And I used to have him on Death Squad shows all the time, and then he got Walking Dead, and now he doesn't even return my text. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I've been watching. I'm still watching Survivor. Still obsessed with Survivor. Oh, I'm watching the, chi- the one in China right now. It's not even in 4K. Correct. I'm watching one that looks pretty bad. It's like, see, it's from, I think, 2000. Uh, shit, I don't know, six or something. Do you believe COVID came from uh, Wuhan or do you believe it was like man made? <clears throat> yeah, I think it came from there. What they say? I don't really have an opinion on the matter, but I would assume it came from Didn't they say the guy know. bit like a bat's head? I never watched Survivor. I hate it. No, I'm talking about... How come? Have you ever given it a chance? I watched a couple episodes. I'm not into that stuff. How come? Because I'm not... I'm just, I don't it's know. exciting. Don't, a guy from Macon, Georgia was on there a few years ago, John Rocker. He was a pitcher for the Atlanta Braves that said that shit about... Yes, he was real racist or something. Yeah. I mean, he actually... His dad worked with my mom, Jake Rocker. <clears throat> John yeah. Rocker, yeah. He's you know that picture. show Big Brother? I guess none of them know anything about this coronavirus because they're stuck in that house. And you know, are you serious? I know, I've yeah. Heard that. yeah. And I guess Jarrett Leto, whatever his name I is, saw that he today. was in a yoga retreat or a meditation retreat, and he just got back and did, had no idea. Like he flew and was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Can you imagine just like <laughs> no. landing at LAX and going, "What the hell?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't get on that plane tomorrow, David. I'm really worrying about you. Yeah. I wear a mask. That make you feel better? What kind of mask? I'll, I'll get one from like Home, a werewolf Home mask. Depot. Home Depot. I get one from Home Depot. The painter's mask. Oh, painter's mask. They probably don't have any. Yeah, they're probably sold out. They don't right. even have. Like, I just wanted to buy a. I couldn't find my thermometer last night. I was like, you know, what? I should just have my find where my thermometer is, just in case if I start feeling a little weird, I can like check my temperature. Can't find it, so. I, Went on Amazon, couldn't find no thermometers like CVS. No, like you can't buy so many things right now. The kind you put under your tongue. Yeah, my neighbor. I saw her in passing yesterday, and she she had to buy gloves off of the black market. She bought some <laughs> gloves from Craigslist. Really? <laughs> no I'm shit. like, white people are crazy. How in the world does a thermometer work where you can put it under your tongue and that gives you your body temperature? How does that work? William, you're joking oh, right now. Huh? Y'all understand that? Yeah. How would under your tongue be the your your heat representation for your body? Y'all your, understand that? Your core temperature. Why is it under your tongue? Or it's in your butt. You because can stick those, it in your butt. Those are both accurate because your skin is not accurate because sometimes your skin is cold or it's extra hot. So why does under your tongue work? Because that's a controlled environment. Under your tongue? Yes. Are y'all be? I can't even. T- are y'all serious? That's why under your arms work. Is under your arm a thing? Yeah, for babies. Yeah. But if you put it in a girl's vagina, it's usually warmer. <laughs> <laughs> a dildo thermometer. 
Hey. I think you're onto something. Hey, okay. bro. <laughs> you start selling them on the uh, Craigslist. You know what, bro? I was uh, bored as fuck yesterday, and I started watching porn. I started watching this porno. <laughs> start watching. <laughs> I started watching this porno. This girl had like a a dildo on her bike, so every time she pedaled, this dildo was fucking. Oh yeah. Was she riding outside, or it was like a stationary outside, bike? I loved it. Oh my gosh. They have it on like my free cams, where every time you tip, it, it makes the machine fuck them harder. Like it's kind of just like a. A dildo that goes in and out. So you tip them, it starts going faster. And We really are at the end of times. Hey, I well, can't yeah. believe that. I got an idea, Red Man. So when I get back from New York... You're not going to get back. Oh, yeah, God. and I think you need to self-quarantine after you get back. I don't think we're going to be seeing you for a month. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like next week. I doubt you'll be here next week. I bet you like, we'll like, have to find... Well, if we're not in sh- complete shutdown, yeah. which I think we will be... We'll just have to have William sitting here. Well, the the thing about <laughs> or the thing about San Francisco, they got more old people, right? And there there's more. Do people, they? I don't know. There's more people in a smaller space. No, it's young hip tech guys. So why are they shutting it down like that? Because it's a smaller space. Because it's smaller space, and because it's they their cases are and their homeless are out of control. Yeah. Jesus, I thought L.A. was dirty until we went to San Fran. Why would you be homeless there? Don't it get cold? Yeah, man, I don't know. They probably come down here. You know, birds go south for the winter. They probably come to L.A. in the fucking wintertime. <laughs> it's because it's beautiful there. Y'all ready to take this Greyhound down to L.A.? Have you ever been on a Greyhound? Not in years. Have I, you right, Ben? I arrived, nope. to, I arrived to L.A. in a Greyhound when I moved here. Did you really? Yeah, because I was uh, my cousins were on tour, and that's how I got to L.A. And uh, something The happened. Yin Yang Twins? Yeah, those guys. And uh, <laughs> your cousins are in a band. Yeah, they they were rappers, and they were on tour on the West Coast, and I was on their tour bus, and all of oh, a sudden, seriously, yeah. Who the hell are your cousins? They're, they're not big anymore. What was their name though? They were like neo soul rappers. So like on that, not what a was tour, their name? Not a tour bus. It was a tour van. Uh, big Shock and Eric. What do you go by? Eric Monroe. I think he just went by Monroe. Monroe. Yeah. Type if you can How go you to, spell Monroe. If you, M-O-N-R-O-E. If you go to YouTube. Type in uh, Monroe. No. And that's literally your, like, relatives, you're saying? Yeah, that's my, on my mom's side. Go to YouTube. Type in Eric Monroe. Let's see if it come up. Type in Eric Monroe, Country Boy, I think. that's That was, like, his big song. Monroe. R-O-E. Country Boy. Yeah. Well, no. Or just type in Eric Monroe. See if... Were you lying to us? No, fool. This is how David? To... Rapper? <laughs> Ty- type in Big Shock. <laughs> <laughs> type in Big... Hi. Hold on, let me see. How that's your cousin? <laughs> I'm very go... friendly, outgoing. His real name is Eric Gerald. Let me see what his... Type in Big Shock. Big Shock. Yeah. I think shock is two K's S H O K K K K S H O K K S H O no C yeah Jesus I don't know how to find him oh here we go I found Eric's page because like he changed his why is Shaggy looking like that what's up with Shaggy he changed he changed his whole he changed his whole everything why is Shaggy's mouth on his forehead I don't like it. What do you say, forehead or forehead? Forehead. What do you say, David? Man, how can, I'm trying to find their music. David, how do you pronounce it? What? Forehead or forehead? Oh. Forehead. F. Forehead. Forehead. <laughs> how do you? Forehead. <laughs> so type in uh, Brandon Shockley. That's his name. Brandon Shockley. S. Yeah. C K. C K. I'm gonna pee real quick. L-E-Y. L-E-Y. Yeah. Brendan Shockley. Jesus, where's their stuff at? But I'm sure he goes by the name Big Shock. That's weird. I don't know. This was in in 2009, 2010. I don't know if they put anything on YouTube. Try to... I don't know. Big Shock Rap. Big Shock Rapper. Big Shack. Oh, well. 
Big. He had a song called Country Boy that was pretty popular in the South, and then he had a song called um, Walk Like We Drunk. Walk Like We Drunk. We walk like we drunk. We walk like we drunk. Big Chuck? See, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn, why well, I can't find none of his stuff? So, what's he do now? I have not seen him. <clears throat> I saw him once, like, after I had moved here, like, two years ago. And actually, Big Shock was just in L.A., like, uh, I'm about to call him and see how we can find his music. Text him. He ain't going to answer no. It'll probably. Let's see if he answer. If he in quarantine. Who are you calling? Shock. Big shock. Chocolate? Big shock. Chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate? Hey, what up, cuz? How we can find your music on YouTube? I'm on my podcast, and I was talking about how I got to L.A. with y'all, and then we're trying to find your music on uh, YouTube to play on the podcast. How can we find it? Uh, I got uh, Big Shot. I got, I got a couple songs on there. How, what do I type in? Big Shot. Big Shot. Uh, I'm trying to think. The one that's probably on that Big Shot Reloaded. So, S-H-O-C-K? Yeah. Big Shot Reloaded. Type that in. Yeah. Hey, do Monroe got his music on there? There we go. I do not know. I don't think so. I was trying to find it. All right, we're going to play it on the podcast because I hit you back later. Yeah. So we got He sounded here. nice. Yeah, he cool. 3Q, 3Q, B, B, B. Eyes up. It's been to be a long night. Stressing got me vexed, so I got to take a long flight. It took a quarter ounce and couple cups to get my dome right. Now I'm like a sniper, viper, bite all in my zone. I get all up in your bones. Like arthritis, not the nicest, but I turn to the yo sessions in the crisis. You doubt that I will dice this, I will yeah, turn men into vices. Get in your head yeah. like lices and devour brains. Yeah, he's in Murrow uh, County. Like yeah, he's a good voice. I'm sure you can. Very cool. Damn, my allergies acting up, or is it Corona? Stop! Corona. I know you're kidding. <laughs> no, I feel like I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Don't, man. Is that the other direction? <laughs> Why are you doing it towards me? <laughs> yeah, I know you're kidding. Are you kidding? No, he's not kidding. No, you just heard me sneeze, dog. Seems like a bad idea. I have allergy problems, bro. Oh, you mean allergy problems? You know I got allergies, fool. Don't act stupid. But yeah, so that's <laughs> that's how I got here. So Eric Monroe is more like a neo soul. Like he had a song called "It Was Like uh, I'm Just a Country Boy." You can find me underneath the pine tree, mostly. A lot of, I'm just What's a neo soul? Like, like vibing more about like energies and not really rapping. I like killing and selling dope. I'm just a country boy. You can find so me. So it's in. rap, but just not yeah, the like normal rap. Conscious rap. Conscious rap. I'm just a country boy. You can find me underneath the pine tree, mostly in my white tee. That's how you find me. Something like that. But yeah. Did so you that, ever think about being a rapper? Nah, bro. It's Why always not? been in my blood to be a comedian. How come? Uh, just that's what the, that's what the universe chose for me. It was what I was born to do. But yeah, I. Uh, I was on a tour bus from Georgia. We stopped in like New Orleans, Alabama, Mississippi. They had shows all along the way. It was cool because I was underage getting into clubs with them. You were able to do comedy? No, but I did meet a lot of girls. Did you kiss any of them? I kissed this one chick <laughs> in uh, Oklahoma. Uh-uh. Yeah, she was a black chick, bigger girl. She had like three kids, dog. Is she sweet? I had braids at the time. She was cool. She what do you mean you had braids? I had braids. Isn't that braids? These are locks. Oh. That's how white people see it. Aren't those braids? Are those braids? <laughs> are, those braids? <laughs> are those cornrows? <laughs> Can I pull that off? You think I could? I don't... Bro. I could pull that off. Yeah. What would I look better in, braids or cornrows? Neither. <sighs> Braids and cornrows are the same thing. So, oh, are they? Is that Erica? No. 
Yeah, it is. I can't <laughs> believe y'all are doing that to me. So, yeah, I was on their tour bus, met a couple of chicks along the way. Uh, and then in Dallas, their manager called them and told them that the shows in Arizona and Los Angeles were canceled. Like, they had, this, they had this big ass. I remember that they had like this. This is like 10 years ago. They had like this big ass argument on the phone with their manager. And um, they had like this big ass argument on Can the phone. Can you do that again? They had like this big ass. One arm. more time? No. They had like this big How ass. How do you do arm. that? Can you do that, Red Band? <clears throat> oh, God. Wait, how do you do that? I don't know, dog. It's a nose thing. So they had this big ass. It's a argument. nose thing? Oh, God. They Red had... Band, how'd you do that? <clears throat> That's the sound he makes when you do like I this. can't do it. It's like doing your throat and your nose, sort of. You got to fine tune it. <clears throat> You're getting there. If you snore at night, <coughs> yeah, it depends on where I'm sleeping, how I'm sleeping. Yeah, if I sleep on my back, I'm getting, I'm, I have sleep apnea. If I sleep on my tummy, I'm all right. So yeah, uh, they they said the shows in Arizona and Cali got canceled. So it was like a tour bus full of us, bro. It was like, I remember one night because the shows got canceled, we had to sleep in the van at a Love's truck stop. <laughs> How was that? It was cool. It, it was right outside of a casino, so like I went in there and gambled a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I played some uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah, won like not that much, maybe a couple of hundred dollars. You won a couple hundred dollars? Yeah, I probably could have won more, but I didn't have no patience. Yeah. So when I, you know, so um, I I fucked up a lot because at that time. I was only playing like Texas Hold'em on my phone and on the computer, so I didn't know like real rules of, you know, yeah. Texas Hold'em. Got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. You better count your money when you're sitting at the table. Sing it, guys. You time enough to count. Them. Yeah, get your fucking phone off of me. So, yeah, we had to sleep at a Love's truck stop. The shows in Arizona and California were canceled. <clears throat> and I remember Why were they canceled? Folks weren't, weren't wanting to hear Neo Soul? Their manager was a little shady. So, Shock is not Neo Soul. Him and, uh, ooh, play 4M in Georgia next. Not yet. Let me finish the story. Uh, so, uh, the shows were canceled. They were cussing their manager out. I think his name was TJ, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and so uh, we went to Dallas because they had some people there, but they couldn't find the people. Okay, yeah, that's where JFK got shot. <laughs> and uh, I remember my mom was like, "Just come home, just come back with them," and I was like defeated. You know what I'm saying? Why weren't you at school at this time? It was a, uh, it was a. Uh, right, I think I had dropped out and I came back when high I high school. No, college. I was right out. I was right out of high school. Where would you go to college? I went uh, one year at Bama, and then I came here to finish. Oh. Well, one semester at Bama. Um, was the football team good? Uh, yes. What year was that? Uh, 09. Yeah, yeah they had a good squad in 09. Yeah. And uh, my mom was like, come back home. And I got off the phone. I was crying and shit. I'm like 19 years old. <clears throat> and my cousin was like, nah, fuck that, man. We're going to make sure you get to Hollywood, cuz. And yeah. then the rest is history, and now you're here. Yeah, they bought me a Greyhound ticket. It took two and a half days from Dallas to get to L.A., bro. <laughs> Fuck that. That shit. Where do you sleep? In the bus. On the bus. How many stops do you take just all the time? A lot, bro. See, like, bro, I remember, so I had to conserve ah. my, I had to conserve my phone. Like, sometimes you stop and get, like. An hour or something. Yeah. So you you but like there were no plugs on the phone. <laughs> I had to like Yikes. fucking. I had to conserve my battery. Did you have your little row to yourself, or you're sitting next? I was to somebody? sitting. I was sitting in a uh, seat by myself. And then when we got to like uh, almost when we got in California because we went through San Bernardino and shit. Yeah. I uh, this girl wanted to sit next to me. Did y'all hit it off? Uh, we got each other's number. She lived in San Bernardino. I didn't have a car at the time, so it was like it's a man. long drive, it yeah. Well, it's but it would have been bus ride for me. So uh, yeah, yeah, coming up here and shit. 
I remember a dude was on the uh, bus eating smoked turkey necks, and that shit stank. Ugh. What? Yeah, bro. And I've also met a, a drug transporter. Some oh, dude, did he transport the drugs on the yeah. Greyhound? So some dude... Is that genius? Some dude we picked got on the bus with me in Dallas, yeah. and he got off like in San Bernardino. It was a black dude. He was like, you ever met a drug transporter? Because we were talking. And I was like, nah. He was like, nah, you have, bro. And sh- dap me up and got off. <laughs> you think he really was a drug transporter? He said he was. I don't know. That's maybe genius to transport the drugs on a Greyhound. Damn. I just put an unmarked bag under the bus. Yeah. And then that way nobody has to claim it. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Brooklyn Nets' Kevin Durant has Kevin Durant. No, Durant. it's Durant. Kevin Durant. What is he infected? Yep. He was out, out with, with Drake. Oh, he was out with Drake. Drake's got him. Drake? So Drake. <laughs> Drake. Drake. In New York. So, hey, William, I want to know how your trip to L.A., how did your thing to L.A. come about? Like, I have been, there was one point in time straight out of high <clears> school, <throat> uh, no, no. So when I got back from Bama, I didn't. Football was like done, and I remember, uh, like in February, like my cousins made me come to LA because I was telling everybody I was gonna move to LA. My cousins made me, and I thank God for them. Uh, but yeah. in like February, my uncle, who uh, is a realtor, offered me like a big amount of money and a new car if I were to leave the next day. He said, I'll give you this car, and I'll give you this much cash. But to leave got, the next day to go to L.A. or back to Georgia? To go to L.A. Oh, wow. Because he thought I was Did bluffing. you take it? No, because I was scared. I was a teenager, man. I was scared. Oh, and then the bus thing happened later on. Yeah, and then my cousin. So basically, around like, so that thing my uncle happened like, I think, January or February. Because I got to L.A. a week before Mother's Day. Yeah. And I say like March... My cousins who are rappers mm-hmm. were like, because I did the comedy thing in Macon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing yeah. like shows. Why and, was your uncle trying to give you a card and money? So you could he, hit he, it big and then you could repay him or no, something? No, he was just, at, that was before the collapse. So he was like rolling in money. Oh, wow. So he was like, you know. So he's just being nice. Yeah, he was, he was trying to push me to go because none of my family thought I would come. Yeah. Because I was a mama's boy. I ain't never really been away from my mom like that. You know what I'm saying? So he offered me. That's yeah, uh, sweet. Are yeah. you really a mama's boy? Yeah. yeah. Sweet David. I'm a mama's sweet boy, bro. Baby David. Yeah. Are you sweet. a mama's boy, Red Man? Yep. Yeah. You are. Yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think Tony is? He's a mama's boy. Yep. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. He probably act. He's totally, totally a mother's boy. He barely talked to his dad growing up at all. I was about to say he probably act totally different around his mom. His mom though is a gangster, so it's more like. Not like, like a regular mom, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a badass. Worked for the mafia and shit. Seriously? Yeah. Isn't he from Youngstown? Yep. I Youngstown? met his brothers the one time in the back of the comedy store. His brothers were intimidating. <laughs> really? So Tony, have you ever met his brothers? No. So Tony's like the Whoa. shrimp. He's like the shrimp of the family. Damn. His brother. I couldn't. I didn't even believe it at first. Really? I didn't believe it. Damn. What, he has three brothers, I, I think? think so. I think they're all, like, half-brothers, though. I don't think they're, like, full brothers. Yeah, yeah. I, at first, I didn't even believe it. But they <laughs> were, I guess. But Tony <laughs> Tony has the deposition to be, like, a mobster. You know what I'm saying? He's a type A. The disposition. Disposition. What did I say? Deposition? Yeah, that's what lawyers <laughs> do. <laughs> I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> Is that corona? I pray to God it's not, man. <laughs> Yeah, people in the chat room like uh, are saying like I don't ever remember David coughing in the past uh, from vaping before. <laughs> don't let them. Yeah, you're trying to play it off all yeah. all right. I said deposition disposition. He has a disposition to be a fucking mobster because he's type A. He wants shit to go his way or no fucking way. Yeah, he's always the same person. He doesn't seem like he reacts out of emotions that's the type of person you need to lead you it's like me i'm a type a type of the guy yeah. wouldn't you agree no fool what type would i be drunk type come on it's <laughs> unfair and William, mean do you and not we're at the how, end of times do you realize how drunk you were yesterday no I you don't not. even remember arm wrestling 
Stop. You or wrestle like six people. Red Bad beat you. <laughs> yeah. Tony beat you. And, but then you beat Joel, bro. And then you kept on interrupting Tony like every 30 you that, seconds. Bro? You're like, <laughs> Tony told me to take the mic from you. Okay. I'm glad people are having fun with I still those. love you, though, dog. But that shit was fun. Everybody be of high school. <laughs> I was over there laughing. I was having a good time. <laughs> you owe me some money for babysitting your ass, though. Stop. It was funny. Tony said, take the fucking mic and don't give it back to him. Here we go. Yeah, let's get this off. <laughs> Look at that. Remember the first time that they chanted Joelberg? I remember. Yeah. That yeah. means you only get yeah, one like out of every cent. Yeah. Five is I mean, like a You good chug that whole guy. thing of vodka. <laughs> It, do you remember pushing David up. Derry? Bro, He's do you safe. remember? Oh, yeah, Corona David Derry was pissed off at Bro, do you yeah. remember pushing David Derry? And you said, go get me a beer, bitch. Do you remember that? Yeah, he got me a beer. But why'd you do that, man? I was kidding. Let's get this shit off. What previous guest? Look how you look. Look, you, you look. You look different, bro. You look sweaty. <laughs> yeah. You look like a monster. Right? What's that fucking movie with Jack Nicholson? <laughs> get that off. Here's Johnny. What's that fucking movie? Uh, yeah. The Shining. Yeah, when he was all sweaty and shit. Okay, I'm not going to look. I don't want to look at it. You don't like looking at yourself drinking? I'm not looking at it. Do you remember this? Do you remember Thanks singing Sex and Candy? Yeah. Yes. Thank I smell Sprite and vodka yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that interrupting my chair? We're gonna do, we, need, we need to do some remixes with the band. Like, it's 3 a.m. I must be hungry. I, that's a good one. What do you think, Red Band? We do fucking David and William and the Kill Tony Band. Like, yeah, it'd be fun. Look, well, he told me we were doing a show in Nebraska. <laughs> make it longer. So- make the make the thing longer that you have to say. <laughs> that he sold a joke to that guy, and it was literally the uh-huh. hit, being drunk, doing a DUI checkpoint, okay. hitting it too hard. It was so interesting. Hearing Very that. good. Hand the fucking microphone back to David. God, you are a train wreck, dude. Bro, you said that your friend sold that joke to Ron White. Yeah, no, that's the truth. That is the truth. I don't know why I brought that up, but that was, that's the truth. William, I want to get you drunk on Hennessy. Hennessy. Hennessy tastes weird. What is that? It's brandy. Cognac, excuse me. What is Cognac? Cognac. It's like whiskey a little? It's like... I don't. Yeah, I don't know what I don't drink brown anymore. I drink tequila only. You do. That's my boo right there. I love some brandy. Oh my Mm. god! (laughs) Jesus. She could spit on my face. Mm -hmm. Can we do a karaoke brandy? Sitting up in my room. I just can't believe she's no longer with us. Shut the fuck up! I love her. Brandy is deceased. Okay, you're going too far. You can't fuck with brandy, man. No, bro, that's my baby. She's a Sweetheart. Brandy? Yes. There we go. Let's do this one. Dead you know this up. one? No. Just do the backup. Back me up. How are y'all doing that noise? You jealous? Coronavirus. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. That <laughs> beat. All right, do one better. Do down. Brandy down karaoke. This one. Is that a better one? Yeah. No, no, not that one. That's that's the real song. Brandy Norwood. Oh, is this the real song? Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Karaoke, the second one. Did you mess with the sound? <laughs> Why? What does it sound different? <clears throat> like to get to know if I could be the kind of boy that you could be down for. When I, cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. That you're the kind of guy that I should make a Why are you mixing up guy and girl on these things? Because you want to sing to a guy? 
Is that what? The- <laughs> You Is that it's... why you're switching up the yes. sexes of this? Yes. David. Wayne wants a big fucking oh, dick. I <laughs> see the mind becomes true. With what you. It's funny you were changing the sexes. Because I want to be down with a girl. I don't want to be the kind of girl that you can be down for. I want to be the kind of guy that you can Is be Is that down. why you switched it up? Yes. I got it. No, you don't. I get it. I understand. I get it. I understand. <sighs> mm. Don't you're gonna rub up, rub off what little eyebrows you have. <laughs> <laughs> William has no eyebrows. William has no eyebrows. William has no eyebrows. William has no eyebrows. In school, they called you Stuttering Stanley. You stuttered your way through elementary school. Stuttering Stanley. Stuttering Stanley. Stuttering Stanley. What is that? From Sixth Sense, when the boy got fed up with his teacher. When the boy got fed up with his teacher. I forgot about that. Stuttering Stanley. Stuttering. That shit was funny. <laughs> I saw him at a comedy store one night. That motherfucker took a picture so weird, bro. Who? That actor? Yeah. The kid? Yeah. What's his name? Haley Joe Osmond or something? Oh, my God. What the fuck? He like hills have eyes. You ever see that Gosh. movie, Elephant Man? No, I've heard of it, though. I wonder if that hurts. I wonder if that would hurt. Seems like it would. A poem, Elliot, that was used by Joseph Merrick to end his letters. Yikes. Elephant Man. Elephant Man. Eric Stoltz. (coughs) Whoa! Shut up. It's another cough. I'm sure I've got it now. I know. I feel like I've got it now. I don't feel good. I'll postmate you some soup, both of you guys. I don't feel good right now. I wouldn't feel good if I was drinking beer with fucking green dye in it either. You don't taste dye. Still, though. Come on. No, you do taste dye. It tasted lemony. <laughs> lemony fresh. Oh, God. It's a real lemony. What's that? Have you seen a guy with the Ninja Turtle hands washing his hands talking about coronavirus? No. What do you mean? Why does he have Ninja Turtle hands? Mm-hmm. Ninja Turtle hands. Oh, my gosh. That was the... the <laughs> Look at those guys. <laughs> what is this a video? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh, God, look at that. Wow, look at that. Janius. <laughs> look at look how crazy that is. Just for They're married? Look at that. Look at that, how crazy. <laughs> I mean, imagine your wife. Look at that. It looks like a little Kim Kong thing right there. Did you get that? There's no way that's... No. They're married? Did you, what you send me? That link. Play that weird shit. God. I didn't get anything. Type in... Uh, Guy with Ninja Turtle hands. Guy with nin- <laughs> guy with Ninja Turtle fingers. Wash hands. Oh, there it is. Ugh. What is this? <laughs> He's talking about fucking coronavirus. Oh, I did see this, and I was like, I was thinking to myself, what the fuck is wrong with his hands? <laughs> but I turned it off immediately. That shit look crazy, don't it, Will? Is that real? It looked real. He's probably good at fingering. What? A part of me thinks something's fake about this because when he had all that mud on there, it was like, what is all this fake mud that he has on his hands? But I don't know. It looks pretty real. What? <laughs> what would you do if he was your doctor checking your dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at that. Bro. You, see the guy with, you see that guy with penis finger hands? What? No. Penis finger. I think Red may be making shit up. No. 
Uh, well, I can't believe that. Hands. A dick is going to pop up. Don't. No. It's this guy that just has really weird fingers. They look like penises. Look, uh, I guess that's not it. That should look crazy. Yeah. Did you see the meme that said, no wonder the government won't show y'all aliens. Look how y'all acting with the coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's funny as fuck. Yeah. I'm ready to see some aliens. You think there are aliens out there? Yeah, of course, bro. Somebody got to be better than we are. Somebody has to be. Well, we will never meet them. The nah. universe is too vast. I don't think there's any chances. And we were an average family living on ours. In this vast... Oh, my God. My cousin used to love this show. Mac and me. On Mars? Look how long his arm is. <laughs> Imagine how long his dick is. Do you think so? Gotta be. Look at that. It's so realistic. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's Michael Lara as a kid. <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't, isn't this the movie where that kid flies off like a... <laughs> like a <laughs> that kid in the wheelchair flies off like a, a cliff? You know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, I think it is. Mac. Mac and me. Cliff. Oh, yeah. Check this out, man. This is my favorite thing ever. (laughs) Watch this. Look how fake it is. Idiot. Oh no! <laughs> Broken! What, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> that was clearly a dummy. What is that stupid? Oh guy? my gosh. He would have been dead. I just love how fake it looks. Like, look at that uh, dummy. Yeah. Bro, you know what else is fake? <laughs> go, go to the scene in. Uh, type Bad Boys Ferrari scene. You can see the white dude driving so clear. Bad Boys 2 Ferrari chasing. It's so... Is this it? Fast forward a little bit. It's when he turns around to shoot those guys. Keep going. Is this a good movie? Yeah, it's good. Bad Boys 2 is great. All the bad boys. Even the new one I heard was good. I haven't seen any of them. Keep going. He's in there by himself, so keep going. It's Will Smith by himself. So he's going to let... Go more towards the end. Who's by himself? Will Smith, I think, is going to let Martin out. Keep going. I don't know. Is this where he gets out? No. Yikes. Type Ferrari scene Will Smith. That's the only thing that came up was Ferrari scene. Go back. Shootout scene. You ever see. Alright, it might be that one. Five. Click the second one. The second one? Yeah. Go more. Fast forward a little bit. No more. It's when he turns the car around and shoots at him sideways. There it is. You see the white dude driving? Go back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally a white guy. <laughs> it's supposed to be Will Smith. That's crazy. <clears throat> Oof. You ever see uh, the ghost in Three Men and a Baby? Mm-mm. I've heard about that. That was maybe one of the creepiest things ever because we didn't have internet back then when that movie came out in video. Somebody, some troll or somebody, it got passed around like uh, how there was a ghost of a kid, and when they uh, and they were filming in this house in the scene of Three Men and a Baby, and in one scene you could see the kid's outline behind a curtain in the background, and it freaked us all out like everybody was like <gasps> like fr- like because there was no like we had no idea why because there was what no was it? here i'll show you what three men 
I've heard and, about that. Uh, baby Ghost Kid. It, it, when you see it as a kid back in the 80s, it, it freaked me the fuck out. Check this out. All right. It just went by. Like, look at this. Like, right. Right. I'll walk by it. And it should be... Wait, maybe that's not it. Oh, there it is. What? In the curtains? I think that's it. Maybe it's not that shit. That statue? No. Maybe I... Oh, there. Look Where? at the background in the window. There's a kid standing in the... That's a poster. I see it. That's a poster. Where are y'all looking? Look in the back over that lady's head. Uh, see right there on the right? That's a poster, it looks like. Well, yeah. It ended up, they ended up finding out later that it was a cardboard like cutout. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And somebody had put it behind there. But back in the day, everyone, you know, you had that, you heard that, that story going around and you're, everyone was like, ah, it was freaky back in the day. I don't know. I'm too young for that. That's scary. The comedy store is haunted. You ever seen a ghost one? It ain't haunted. I've never seen one. I've heard one before. What'd you hear? Somebody bombing? From my parents' house at Beth House. No, at the comedy store. No, I've never seen a ghost there. You Red Man? Fuck no, I don't believe in ghosts. What do you mean what you, you don't just believe trying to show in ghosts? What do you mean you don't believe in ghosts? You believe in ghosts, Lime? Hell yeah, I believe in ghosts. Hell yeah, I do. Tell us about your ghost story then. I remember I was studying for a uh, exam in high school, and it was late at night, and my door was shut, and then I hear something walking around with me down there, and I just turn off the lights in fear. I didn't know what else to do. Is that your parents? Desk. I don't think it was. <laughs> I don't think anybody was down there. Down where? In my bedroom. Oh, somebody was walking to your bedroom. Right outside of the door. It was a guest. Look at the comedy store when it used to be a nightclub. When blacks weren't allowed. <laughs> Look at that kiss. That's the main room right there. It was frequented weekly by mobster Michael Mickey Cohen, who came to collect the I didn't know all that, I don't think. Yeah. Besides the mob ties, illegal abortions were also conducted at Ciro's. Next time you go in the belly room, I'm going to show you the little window where you can look down to the main room. Yeah, and shoot people. In the, uh, yeah, the green room up yeah. there? Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. They used to shoot people, they say. Did they? That's probably what the fuck we'd be seeing, all those illegal yeah, abortions. abortions. <clears throat> Look, that, that's not weird. That's the main room right there. That's the... Jeff, the keyboard player, was sitting in the back smoking when he saw a ghost one time. Seriously? Yeah. And then the waiters said the night that they had Brody's thing earlier this year, they see... Or no, was it Brody's birthday? His birthday was recently, right? Yeah. They said they saw him walking around in the back like his it's shadow. So stupid. So dumb. I thought you had to die at the place for the to be a ghost somewhere. Uh, I don't know how ghosts There's work. There's no rules with ghosts, William. <laughs> right. I thought you had to die at the place. If you were a ghost, where would you want to hunt? Where? Yeah. Maybe a Perkins restaurant. Because <laughs> I love their pies. A movie theater? Yeah. Maybe a movie theater. Maybe a Wendy's. Maybe a... I feel bad about Wendy's. I you'll know what burger not, I had today. They're not playing their empo- they're not paying their employees. You should not support them anymore. Who? Yeah. I know Wendy's. I didn't. I ate it somewhere. I ate it at Carl's Jr. today. I don't know if y'all have had their six dollar burger yet. It's delicious. It's wonderful. Six dollar burger. It costs like seven dollars. Delish. I loved it. I had a double. So good. Have you had? I, I had Wendy's breakfast finally. The, I love the it. The baconator, the Wendy's baconator breakfast, and the potato fry things that they have. The little potatoes. The potato fries are great. Good. Also love tried it. the 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 coffee with the frosty in it. I haven't had that. That sounds good though. And the chicken biscuit was good. Haven't had that yet either. Yeah. Other sausage egg and cheese biscuit. It was delicious. Yeah, I highly totally recommend. delish. We got a. Uh... 
another beat. I'm gonna send it to Red Band from the same oh, guy. There you go. So. That first beat was so good. I haven't heard this one yet. We'll see how it is. You look like a squirrel. Yeah, that first one was so good. Anubis. All right, press pause for a second. So next week, uh, since you know, guys, everything is shut down, uh, and for everybody listening right now, we're gonna be bringing you guys two episodes a week until everything's back to normal, just to help you, you know, get over some of this stuff and and uh, until stuff gets back to normal and stuff is open, we're gonna give y'all some material to watch and listen to to help you get over this corona pandemic of 2020 unless david's stuck in new york and we're all dead. yeah i'm worried about that david i think you really need to consider reconsider i'll do it over facetime or i'll get joe berg in here i mean what if you're stuck what if we never see you again i'll drive over here and walk you'd walk from new york what's the movie with will smith what does he want? Why are you talking about when, when he had the dog? <laughs> when he had the dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, legend? Yeah, I am Legend. Oh, yes. That was a great movie. I walk back over here to the to the, to the the studio to see that it's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say empty beer can. I'm a dad in here with my sword. <laughs> what a SWH sword. With a sword. Richard Sword. So, yeah, man, we're going we gonna to bring y'all two podcasts a week. And we're going to try to come up with some fun stuff. So make sure y'all send us plenty of questions to Brothers in Cursive at Yahoo or hit us on the official Instagram of Brothers in Cursive. Y'all know what it is. Red Band, play that beat. Well, you going to start it off? <laughs> Have you listened to this? I'm going to read some more of that. That one dude gave me the raps. Let's go. I'm going to read Listen, a little more. Uh uh. Watch a Lake Placid, Mike Dressel Bassett, Dick Flaccid, and the wine in my glasses. <laughs> I did that wrong. Half empty, don't tip me. Let me play my Ipsy, drink my Hennessy like I'm back in Tennessee. This guy's a pretty good thing. Okay, I'm sorry, I've. You done? Let me do over. This right, one's go, ahead. go for it. Okay. Larry and Francis, what are the chances? Met one day at the Sadie August dances. That's what romances. Check their finances. Then they made me. Now I'm trying to learn Spanish. Made some advances, but my tutor just vanished. <laughs> under mysterious circumstances <laughs> eating licorice to the liquor hit writing vigorous limericks with the bitterness i'm deliberately illiterate that's why my rhymes are gibberish what's the difference who gives a shit <laughs> thank you so much clee daily keep sending me these these okay. nice raps pretty good ones I need to I need to try to learn to write something. I feel like I need to because I can't I'm not great at freestyling. You good at writing rhymes? You're not a rhyme thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you always stick out your tongue like that? Like what? You always go. So he can taste the beer left over on his mustache. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. funny you called me out on that, Red Bean. At the end of times you're calling me out on that? Yeah. Because you're just licked the microphone and Brian Holtzman was just got done talking into that for like the last yelling, yelling. God, you think he's sick? I mean, he's older. <sighs> Why did His you warn me? girlfriend's Chinese. <laughs> Is she? And she just got back like a week ago. Nuh-uh. <laughs> From where? China. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Are you kidding? No. And yet you just lick that microphone. <laughs> Are you kidding? Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Damn. Yeah, this isn't good. We're at the end of times. You're... 
I think your temperature is going up. I'm looking at your face. Mm. That's it. What's that Lysol? What's that? Give him a Lysol enema. <laughs> what is that? What is that? It smells good. What is that, though? Your new cologne. <laughs> stinging my eyes. What is that? Like, my eyes are stinging. What I is think that? Just shit? sprayed you with Fabuloso. <laughs> what is that stuff? It is stinging my face and my eyes. <laughs> what the fuck was that? My face is stinging right now. <laughs> what is that? My eyes are stinging right now. My face is stinging right now. What is it? It's all over my arm. My arms are stinging right now. What was that? <laughs> Your body don't know what it feels like to be clean. That's why What you... is that? <laughs> you smell good. Do I? Yeah. You're sweet to say that, dude. What is it? It does smell good. Uh, let's see. This <laughs> it is... just like it sprayed you down. Like you're trying to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that smell. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice. Cat and dog. Cat and dog urine. what? <laughs> urine. <laughs> urine perfume. Spray <laughs> on mean? carpet and scrub Oh, that's the shit that make dogs not shit in the same place? Yeah, it's to clean cat pee and dog pee Is off the safe? carpets. I mean, no. And it's all over me now? <laughs> God. Shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. You want some on your dot? No. Why not? You want some lotion? I don't, want it. I don't need any of that on my dot. I don't want any of that on my dot. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't warn me about getting close to this microphone after Holtzman and his gr- Chinese girl. I cannot believe you didn't warn me about that. Well, I didn't think you were going to be licking it. <sighs> Do you feel clean? Feel like you had a shower? It yeah, I good. just I can't like get it. over that. It does smell good. That's, that's a, scary. Okay, that, that's, I'm scared now. That's the best I've ever smelled you. Do you? Is that true? Maybe. You don't like my Old Spice I put on? Is that what you had on yesterday? Yeah. What were you smelling it yesterday? Yeah. You were drinking, so you were. Okay, stop. Why do you keep bringing that one up? You know you were. No, I wasn't. What was in that bottle yesterday? 7-Up. And what else? 7-Up. What would you say? Absolute 7-Up? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I'm glad to see you not drunk today. Drink beer. It's better. Don't drink that 7-Up shit. Whatever that's in that bottle, bro, that should be having your ass on another planet. I think it was just straight vodka with just a little bit of 7-Up. Yeah, I think you drunk the 7-Up. No, it wasn't. There was 7-Up in there. Bro, you pushed David Derry. Yeah, dude. David was He was ready to pissed. hit you. He was pissed off. He talked about it after the show. I, I feel He's so like, bad. I don't need to take this shit. You're like doing that stuff. All right. Glad we're getting into this. You think he's spitting our... your beer? And then Janice yelled at you for 20 minutes about it. <clears throat> Okay, my parents watch this. They don't need to hear. You think this. David Derry spit in your beer? My parents watch this. They don't need to be fucking hearing about that. Does old girl watch it? So she can. I know, don't know. So that she can know she's only helping you spiral. I don't know. Okay, do your rhyme. No, look, Will. <laughs> do your look, fucking look. rhyme. Let's get the fuck out of here. Look, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Come on. All right, Redman, turn the beat on for me. <clears throat> With the same one? Yeah. That last one, though, the one last week, I really liked Do that you one. have that one from last week? The one last week. That was fun. The one last week I like better, though. That shit was hard. Yeah, that... I know, I got the guy to send it to me. Let me see that I was a fun one, what that just was, but that other one was really good. That's not it. That's not it. Let me see if I can find it. I thought you sent it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> from cool. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's great. Brothers in cursive. Where my dessert is. I want that cheesecake and some sherbet. <laughs> Strawberries on top. Lick me nonstop. David Lucas. I don't have no mucus. 
flying to New York. Fuck that virus. You want to come test me? I put you Royal Highness on top like a chess player. I like checkers, not the hamburgers. I'm talking about the board game checkers. I used to play that shit nonstop. I do that shit. I listen to a lot of rock. Nirvana, Soundgarden, Blink 182. I come through in my Yeezy new shoes. David <laughs> Lucas with Red Band. All the mother podcasts put them in the trash can. King of the Hill <laughs> on my boy Montgomery shirt. He come through with rhyming because he doesn't get hurt. Red dot on my stomach. I drink a lot of beers. When I go up, the crowd start to cheer. Kill Tony Mondays, Rose Battle Tuesdays. I work at the store every day. Checks and money, that's all I really want. I don't get high. I don't roll your ecstasy and mushrooms. I don't smoke weed, but I do eat a lot of trees. I'm a pescatarian. Only salmon on my plate. I do this shit. I wash it down with some grapes. Grape soda in my cup. I ain't styrofoamed up. I don't drink that scissor. I don't lean. But I do look real mean. Come through. I'm the camouflage team. William Montgomery. That's Robert E. Lee's grandson. He do that shit. He used to have a lot of ones at the strip club. Throwing them at them hoes. He come through. Throwing a lot of bows for trucks. I do this shit for truck nuts. Brothers in person. 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 That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? (laughs) Brothers in in person.